I'm going through deep menus, so I'm calling up a famous website that I like doing all the time. And you see here multiple tab browsing. So that's, that's the first time on Android. Uh -huh. uh, you've got multiple tab browsing. It supports Adobe Flash 10.1, so all of that Flash content plays right from uh, within the web browser. No separate applications. It works on the web. And then we also have the usual bookmarks, so thumbnail view. Obviously, beautiful real estate to do that on the 10.1 inch display. And then we also have this new mode called called Incognito mode, which switches off all my uh, browsing history. Mm -hmm. A lot of tablets are passed around people and family and whatever, they don't want to show you browsing history. So video playback, uh, screen is optimized for HD video content, 16 by 9 playback, the screen is actually 16 by 10 so we've allowed a bar here for force play buttons etc. But it fills the screen so I have to optimize uh, video uh, playback for a 10.1 inch HD display. Applications coming available like uh, Blockbuster On Demand which will be a source for uh, that content. And we also have the new Google eBook service. So again, brand new interface for uh, tablets. As you'll see here, we've got carousel mode. So I flip through thumbnail views of all of my books. These books are downloaded to the device, uh, but downloaded to my account. So just as I sync my contacts and email in my Google account, I can now sync my books as well. And I can flick through those books right from my home screen and go straight to the page where I left it. I could be reading on my PC or my Android handset. It remembers where I am because it's all synced into the cloud. That's great. The cool one is Google Maps, so Google Maps 5.0, uh, radical overhaul of Google Maps, it's now vector-based maps, not bitmap, so you'll see a beautiful, really fluid experience, unlike that kind of spotty that you can actually get, and again, it's all touch-based, so I'm dragging the maps with my multi-touch fingers, um, I can drag uh, with two fingers and pull up the 3D view, so this is actually being done with multi-touch uh, interface. And the other really cool thing on the tablet is uh, Street View, so if I switch Street View on, again I can pinch and zoom, Street View. Which is really cool. And then we've got things like, uh, because we've got dual uh, cameras, we've got front and rear facing camera, I can now do G-Tool. So anyone that I've got on my uh, contacts that also has a webcam will be indicated by the little green uh, video cam. I can instantly start with, uh, with video chat. Um, uh, we've got uh, YouTube. So again, YouTube has been completely overhauled for Honeycomb on the tablet. New interface. Again, I've got scrollable widgets. So I get little thumbnail views of all the latest uh, videos on uh, on YouTube. Or I can access in the usual way via the icon. And then I have this completely new redesigned look with thumbnail views. But again, it's all touch-based and I'm scrolling through. More and more uh, YouTube content is becoming available in high quality and obviously playing back on such a beautiful uh, display, HD display with over 1 million pixels. Great for the YouTube environment. So I just hit high quality and play those videos back. Can you just show me again just the, the ports and kind of give me the, the hardware? So we've got uh, micro USB for data, HDMI out for mirror mode and HD playback. I have the Pogo pods for uh, dock charging and then a barrel port for barrel charger. At the top I have my uh, regular 3.5 millimeter headset jack, volume up and down on the side. Is that also a... Uh... This is a SD card slot, so it will support SD for an upgrade. Uh, won't be enabled at launch, uh, but it will be for uh, an upgrade. I have my 5 megapixel camera 
it also captures in HD, dual LED, and then dual speakers. Great. Thank you so much.